Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. As you can see here, I'm burning a little incense this morning for uh, just something different. Um, this this dish is a mishmash of a little bit of everything. It's got sage. It's got all of the resins that I have in uh, frankincense, myrrh, white copal, dragon's blood. It's got bay leaf in there. It's got, you name it, if it makes you feel good, it's in there. Well, except that one thing that makes you feel good when you smoke it, but that's another story. Anyway, it's got another Christmas card. Yay! I don't want to show you the address on the front, but... There we go. It's from Cassie. Thanks, Cassie. I love it. So who all has seen the video I put out last night? I know it's kind of a long one, but uh, it was the museum tour that we took this past summer and I'd been using little clips of it here and there but then I was going over my footage the other day and I was like there is just so much more in there that was not covered in any of the videos that I made using any of that information so I uh, went back to the drawing board and thought I'd just give you all the, the full tour of the museum. And there's some very interesting things in there, especially if you're into history. But um, anyway, I'll blow out this incense in a little bit. I just want to let it get it going really good. Um, I got so much positive feedback, and I don't know. I'm hoping it's the cards. But yesterday's reading got such a positive feedback that I'm going to try using them again. On top here traveled the most. Oops. So I think it wanted to be read the most. So here we go. It's the King of Wands. This card is pure energy. Unlike the other wand cards in the deck, however, this particular one is not focused on pure creativity. Instead, this king is actually way more likely to take an idea and to decisively implement it himself. The King of Wands is a natural-born leader of people, and he is also extremely capable. Once the king sets himself a certain aim or goal, he is going to conveniently stick to it to, in order to ensure that it becomes a reality. The King of Wands looks forward to all sorts of different challenges, whether great or small, for he gets a natural adrenaline rush associated with solving problems. Wow, that one sounds like me. I love solving problems. Jeepers, we've got ourselves a mystery. <laughs> I used to love Scooby-Doo. Anyway, 
Now, the uh, King of Wands love meaning is there's never a dull moment with the King of Wands. And in your love life reading, he can appear as an energetic, natural leader that is generous with both their time and their resources. Their fiery nature means that they have quite a temper, but he is as quick to forget his anger as he is to incite it. With such energy, some folks may find the King of Wands to be rather exhausting, but he brings excitement to every situation. Should this card not appear as a person that is entering your life, this card can indicate a time of focus and perseverance. You may be putting extra effort into your romantic situation now, and between, and this could, and this could have great rewards. If you are in a relationship, this card is a happy one. The love between you <coughs> the love between the two of you is passionate and deep, although sometimes you can still have an argument here or there. Career meetings, the King of Wands in your career reading can signal success and respect in your field. These ideas are linked at the present moment. You do not have to pick which applies to you. If you see the King, it is likely you are in a high position. You might be a mentor to others. Alternatively, those around you might see you as a laudable person with morals and values. The King also suggests the boom in business. Your career is doing particularly well right now. This is not just a temporary condition. There is longevity to your success. Your victories are likely the result of your ability to take chances when daring is needed and cautious is required. Now, financially, you are good at managing money if you find a king here. You are likely in a stable situation because you can save if required, but are also willing to spend when the time comes for it. This balance allows you to appreciate and protect your earnings. Continue to practice these principles. Saving money exclusively can be wise, but spending money, particularly on others, can be a gesture of appreciation. You are wise enough to maintain this equilibrium. Trust your judgments on in investments and purchases. The stability and success you are experiencing now has a potential to be far more permanent. Your good habits will sustain you as long as you continue to actively practice them. All right. That sounds like an exciting card. Now, I don't have a second segment lined up today. I was in a bit of a rush and uh, didn't uh, have time to do it. But uh, I do have something planned for tomorrow. So you can check it out. Anyway, you all have a blessed hump day. We can't forget that, the hump day. Peace. Believe. And until tomorrow, bye-bye. This is smoking good, though. Nice smoke. Positive smoke. Good energy. Good vibes. My chakras are loving it. Get some of this other stuff going. Good. Anyway. Oh, play with fire. It means I'm going to wet the bed. <laughs>